In today's video, we'll unveil 11 essential Skyrim mods that will elevate your gameplay to new heights. From immersive environments to dynamic creatures, we've got it all covered. Without further ado, let's dive right in. First, let me introduce Medieval Potions. This mod transforms the appearance and colors of potions and poisons to align with the atmosphere of the medieval era. Additionally, it offers an ENB light version, allowing potions and poisons to emit light. Created by the expert 3D model replacer, Mathy79, this mod is currently designated as a hot mod on Nexus. If you're someone who seeks a medieval-themed modding experience, I highly recommend giving it a try. Next, let me introduce you to the FYX, Imperial Doors Collisions mod. This mod corrects the collisions of Imperial Dungeon Doors and fixes the UV maps of door frames, eliminating unnecessary gaps and texture stretching. With this mod, you'll be able to shoot arrows through the gaps between doors. Think of it as being functionally similar to the previously introduced Nordic Doors and Traps collisions. However, this one leans more towards bug fixes and doesn't come with an ESP file, allowing for EC installation or removal. It also offers optional niches for SMIM and Parallax, giving you the flexibility to choose what to install. Next, let me introduce you to the Disk Cache Enabler mod. Disk Cache Enabler is a backport version of the Starfield plugin that optimizes disk access to enhance game performance and improve the experience of quickly drawing weapons. It is said to have a significant impact, especially for those using HDD. Given Skyrim's tendency for long loading times, trying out this mod might just be the solution to these issues. Next, let me introduce you to the Artificer, an Artifact Overhaul mod. This mod redistributes enchantments from Thaumaturgy and Mysticism throughout the game, allowing characters who don't engage in crafting to find powerful weapons and armor through quests. It enhances the appearance and effects of artifacts, introduces new ones, and ensures that their effects align with the enchantments from Thaumaturgy and Mysticism. These artifacts can be obtained as quest rewards or in special locations, and they are characterized by unique names and descriptions. They cannot be crafted or improved, and their functionalities are diversified to align with the game's difficulty and balance. If you're looking to bring a fresh perspective to Skyrim's artifacts, I highly recommend giving this mod a try. Next, we have the Taller Posts for Farmhouse Walkways mod. This mod extends the pillars on the farmhouse walkways, keeping them from touching the ground. One of its distinctive features is that it rounds off the pillars on the walkway and creates space between the walkway and the pillars. This adjustment lends a more natural and aesthetically pleasing appearance to the walkway. Take this opportunity to refine the farmhouse pillars for a more organic look. Next, I'd like to introduce the Diverse Firewood Base Object Swapper mod. This mod brings diversity to the appearance of firewood piles. It's based on the Base Object Swapper framework, allowing for a wide range of variations in the appearance of firewood piles. With this mod, you can generate over 40 different variations by randomly combining factors such as size, shape, material, and color of the firewood piles. This adds a vibrant and realistic touch to the landscapes of Skyrim. Next, I'd like to introduce the Reindeer Herds, Mihail Monsters and Animals mod. This mod adds large herds of reindeer that roam the icy tundras and coastlines in search of food. You may even encounter migrating herds. The aim of this mod is to replicate the behavior of real reindeer. It introduces numerous herds of reindeer, with an emphasis on them engaging in herd movements. While natural reindeer tend to flee when they sense danger, members of the reindeer herds in this mod exhibit braver behavior. Most will require you to approach closely before becoming spooked, and they may return after a brief retreat. 
If the group comes under attack, larger and more dominant, reindeer will stand their ground and fight. Immerse yourself in the more cohesive world of reindeer herding with this mod. Now, let me introduce some hidden gem mods. First up is the Universal Fog Remover SKSE64 plugin. This SKSE64 plugin allows you to automatically configure fog settings in a similar way to what you can manually do with the Set Fog Console command for new or loaded games. By default, fog inside and outside is only rendered from a distance. This means you no longer have to deal with that annoying fog. While some may prefer this fog based on personal preference, I often found it obstructing the crisp view of the landscape. Fortunately, with the SKS E64 plugin, I was able to remove the fog, and I thought it might be helpful for you as well. Next up is SSE Display Tweaks. For those who are already familiar, SSE Display Tweaks is a well-known mod that unlocks FPS and offers various tweak features for smooth gameplay. For instance, it allows you to disable V-Sync in borderless full-screen mode to improve performance or unlock the refresh rate limit in exclusive full-screen mode. Furthermore, it provides options to set different frame rate limits for UI, map, loading screens, and addresses various bugs related to physics, camera, lighting, and more. In my case, there was a bug where the dragon would disappear when I locked on and got close. I was able to resolve this issue by using this mod. However, it's recommended to use this mod on high-spec systems and be cautious as it delivers optimal results in a Windows 10 environment. Next, I'd like to introduce two outfit mods. First up is Clothes Pack 6 by Ebb 14 n This mod provides a variety of clothing options for female characters, including items like bomber jackets, hoodies, leggings, shirts, and t-shirts. Originally created for Fallout 4, it has been backported to Skyrim, offering multiple versions of each outfit with different colors and designs. With this diverse range of outfits, you have the freedom to customize according to your preferences. Many of these outfits emphasize the body lines of female characters, allowing for customization that aligns with your desired concept. Next up is Ancient Argonian Armor SE. This armor adds ancient Argonian attire classified as heavy armor, providing defense similar to dragon scale armor. The armor consists of six parts, with the tail being visible when worn by an Argonian or Khajiit character. The helmet carries a slight resemblance to a beetle's carapace, giving an overall design reminiscent of Dwemer armor. However, when you encounter the luminous greenish hue, you'll be pleasantly surprised. The vertebrae and tail armor decorations exhibit intricate and meticulous detailing. Take this opportunity to experience the allure of the ancient Argonian armor. And there you have it, folks. 11 game-changing mods that will revolutionize your Skyrim experience. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with the latest in Skyrim modding. Until next time, happy adventuring.